if you have had past clients who have gotten to become more like friends to you or become more friendly to you, and if you've gotten into the habit of being quite accessible to them, answering questions via email, via Facebook Messenger or text message or whatever, and now they are no longer a client, they're now officially a past client, and you don't have some kind of ongoing group program where they can join and ask you questions, but they just like, especially if they're in a crisis or something and they want to like ask you a question about your expertise, um, what should you do? I mean, you well, you probably as a kind and generous human being, you probably are responding to them and you're probably giving a lot of care and things like that for free because they're a past client, they're not a current member. And so how do I, someone asked me, how do I um, view that? And my response is, uh, you know, to be as uncaring to people who aren't paying you money as possible. And that's, that's the right way of being a human being in life. No, only, only be nice to people if they, if they pay you. No, I mean, yeah, I, I come up with that too, right? Because I have had at this point tons of past members, past clients who feel very friendly towards me and who may respond to, you know, ask me questions. But you know what's interesting? I'll, I'll, I'll say this um, about my experience and then I'll kind of give, give some advice to those of you who um, don't have as large of an audience as me. As I've grown my audience and as my Again, my past clients see my promotions on a regular basis too. They see them on social media. They might see them on email. So they, they essentially, I haven't had to create boundaries with people. It's interesting. I mean, not with individuals. I haven't had to, well, that's not true. I, I do regularly create some boundaries. I'll talk about that next. But even without creating boundaries, people feel my boundaries because I regularly promote my offerings. I think this is really important. They see, Oh, George has a monthly Q&A for people who have signed up for a recent course. They see that regularly. Oh, got it. So if I should ask. So because the boundaries are apparent from my promotions, I don't even have to create boundaries individually with people. They kind of see that. They sense that. And they, you know, they, 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 they behave accordingly. They sign up for this course so that they can ask me questions in a Q&A call or whatever. And yes, there are some individuals who are either not aware of my promotions or they, they see me very in a very friendly way and they say, George, is just answering my questions because I'm a friend, okay? Even if it's a question that he gets paid to answer as a business consultant or a marketing consultant or something like that. And so they email me. And at same, same, same thing to you. At that point, you have a choice. I have a choice. If I... Well, first of all, the choice is always, I don't have to respond to them. You don't have to respond to them. There is, God is not going to strike you down or punish you in your life review if you didn't respond to them because you're overwhelmed and you have a lot on your plate. Or you're not saying you're never going to respond to them forever, but you can't respond today or maybe even this week, maybe not even this month. So this is where the snooze button on Gmail is extremely useful. And on whatever email software you're using, hopefully there's a snooze feature where like, oh, um, you know, John emailed me. He feels like a friend, but he was a past client. Anyway, I, he's asking me my, my expertise questions. I'm going to snooze John's question for at least a few days. I mean, this literally came up recently, actually. Um actually in the last couple of days, two of them ha has happened. And um, one of them was in a crisis and one of them was uh, urgent question because it was an opportunity. And you know what? I snoozed the questions for at least several days and it was fine. I actually had a, another conversation with, with John so-called uh, before I was able to answer the question and there was no weirdness there. There was no weirdness. Actually, John was very thoughtful and said, hey, you know what? No, no worries if you can't respond right away. It's so nice when people are understanding of boundaries and say, hey, you know what? They don't give you pressure. When someone is not, you need to train them to have good boundaries, right? You, you just snooze it. Or you could say, hey, you know what? Listen, it's a, it's a good question. It is the kind of stuff I typically talk to clients about. I'm really overwhelmed right now, but I'll respond as soon as I can. You are allowed to say that. You, you too are a human being who 
has the potential of a crisis or just overwhelm. All of us are overwhelmed right now. It's okay to say, you know what? Thank you. I'm going to respond as, as soon as I can. But right now, there's a lot on my plate right now. But um, but yeah, I, I will I will do my best. Yeah, it's okay. And and you will do your best. You snooze it for a week if you need to. Snooze it for the weekend. Snooze it for whenever. And if it comes back, and if it's starting to feel resentful that you respond to this person, okay? If it gets to that point, then 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 guess what? It's time for you to create your group program <laughs> and say, hey, you know what? Listen, I um, this is the kind of question that I that I typically answer in my group programs, and I know we're I know we're friendly, but I want to make sure I prioritize our our friendship first. And then these kinds of consulty type questions can be done in a more of a client setting. I hope that's okay because I, I love hanging out with you as a friend and I want to continue seeing you. I want to continue continue talking with you. But when it gets to this kind of stuff that I do for my quote unquote day job, then it's like I need to set that kind of boundary. I hope you understand and, and thank you. Or you know what? If you if it feels better that you work with somebody else who's not so much of a friend, I have I have great referrals for you. These people I really trust. Um, you, you might want to work with them and then we can still continue being friends and that way things are really clean and clear. How's that for a response? So please comment below because I'm not the only one who's come up with this uh, situation. I, I bet a lot of you have as well. Please tell us below how you would respond to this kind of situation and any other thoughts about this. Thank you so much.